Hey Aries and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Card House series. This is your April 2021 energy reading, okay? So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node are the placements that are most talked about. However, um, I like to say if you have a sign anywhere in your chart, you should tune into the reading, okay? And apply it how you see fit. Um, also, cross watchers, you are welcome here. So if you are not an Aries, but you're checking up on an Aries you are involved with, okay, this is a space for you as well. Please leave me a comment below, you guys, letting me know if this resonates with you. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, I am open for sessions, so you can find all of that information in the description box below. Also, donations are greatly appreciated, you guys. You can do so via Cash App at Cash Sign Pure Black Magic, okay? Um, so Aries, I saw the anxiety card. First, I saw the all tied up card. So you, you guys could be feeling trapped um, or stuck in a situation um, or decision. Something's going on and you kind of feel a, you kind of feel tied down or held back. I saw the heart shocker. So something dealing with your heart or love or something you truly care about. And then I saw anxiety. So something is stressing you. You're worried about something here. Um, possibly a relationship, possibly another Aries, because I did see the King of Wands, another Aries, maybe a Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, so you could be feeling this way about someone else or someone is feeling this way about you. Okay. But let's see what else comes out, um, in the message. Now we have a thinking woman. So this could be you, if you are feminine thinking about, you know, another person, or this could be your person thinking about you just apply the energy, switch them how you see fit. Um, but yeah, heavy thought about something here and it makes sense because I saw the anxiety card. So you are kind of overthinking something, trying to figure something out through and through here. Um, maybe trying to figure out how to get unstuck or, hmm, I did see door to romance too. It's making me feel like it's romantic. I don't know. Maybe you are um, something about love and dating. So if you're single, I feel like you're just kind of heavily thinking about you're single, why you're single, or, you know, just how situations and relationships have turned out for you. Or maybe I kind of feel like you guys are making the decision to just be single. Someone is like really upset with relationships and dating. Someone is fed up um, and they're really saddened by this, but they're also just like done. Okay um with the dating scene or with the relationship or something like that you have the angel of strength at the bottom here so a leo could be significant okay have victory card you could um potentially have a successful outcome with a leo here if you play your cards right with the strategy and caring connections yep and then a magician a mirror and a cornucopia appreciation okay so a leo could be significant um for sure Let's see what else comes out here. Okay, so thinking woman, angel of strength. I did just see the five of cups. So that's about kind of just um, washing your hands with a situation here. I feel like you guys are fed up. And I keep seeing this king of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is either another fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or um, just someone in general you were in a relationship with or you are in a relationship with. But I feel like they're kind of promiscuous. They're kind of... Um, not faithful or not stable here we have the ace of wands so yeah this could be this could mean that a person has stepped out maybe this person is very sexual even if they haven't necessarily stepped out maybe you guys aren't official i feel like you kind of feel as if all this person wants from you is sex or all people in general want from you is sex um something like that ten of pentacles yeah but this is what you want you want the full package okay you want stability you want security um, a happy home, happy life. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. They are doing some sort of like construction around my home. Um, and it's, it's coming through cause I have the window open at the bottom of the deck. You have the six of wands. Yeah. You want someone that appreciates you. Okay. You want someone who values you. You want someone who takes care of you. Aries is really what I'm picking up on. Um, I just saw the chariot card. So cancer could be significant. Oh, all right. So we have the queen of wands popping out here. More fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's something going on with the fire signs in the month of 
April because you guys are literally, it's just like fire on top of fire in the readings. It's crazy. We have a six of cups. You could be dealing with a fire sign from your past um, or just someone you have history with, okay? Ten of wands. Yeah, you're thinking about um, something that's very heavy for you, something that was very difficult, possibly a relationship. Knight of swords and the king of cups, okay? I feel like someone um, is determined to kind of come in and approach you to date or some sort of love opportunity. Um, or maybe you're just feeling determined to kind of like find the person for you. I don't know. I just feel like you're feeling very heavy right now. Very heavy in thought. Very weighed down. Very anxious. Very saddened. Um, because you really want, like you really aggressively want to be in love or you want to have a person or you want this love opportunity to come in for you you could want a cancer pisces or a scorpio um you could definitely have a fire sign in your past or someone you have history with kind of trying to come back around here um and you're not knowing what to do about a situation if you should kind of like go back to it give it another chance again i have shuffled and we have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck and we have the queen of wands that popped out here so i can't help but think that you're dealing with someone else who is a fire sign or there was just a lot of um passion in this relationship a lot of emotional emotional up and down is what i'm getting here kind of like emotional roller coaster i feel like you're defensive against this king of wands with this nine of wands right behind it yeah, this person kind of did you dirty, was deceptive, a liar, sneaky, something like that, okay? Um, I'm kind of picking up on a scenario that someone is dating someone or was dating someone and this individual was very sneaky about their whereabouts, their actions, who they were talking to, and they kind of snuck off and left you for someone else. Um, or maybe you did that to someone, Leo. Um, I'm sorry, not Leo. Who's reading is this aries okay so yeah leo could be significant y'all are like some with the fire signs y'all are showing up in each other's reading very heavily the, the energy is really crazy um yeah let's see let's start let's clarify some of these this queen of wands and king of wands you could be married all right now the emperor is at the bottom of the deck before i even shuffle this is aries this is your energy what the hell is going on here the moon card and then the eight of pentacles maybe some sort of secrets came out here hmm. what is this heavy burden for aries ten of wands okay so nine of cups two of pentacles and the four of pentacles someone was juggling um I feel like you're kind of like a wish come true to, to someone, okay? And they were juggling you some sort of type of way, so you're holding back from them. I feel like it's very hard for you to not love this person, talk to this person, be with this person. Because um, at some point, they made you very happy. But right now, you're feeling very trapped, okay? You feel blindsided. You feel um, like some mind games are going on here. Will of Fortune. Here's that King of Wands again in another deck that keeps showing his face. Hmm, yeah, King of Wands is significant. Either it's another fire sign or someone who is very, could be someone that's very passionate, very hot-headed, very um, sexual towards you too. You're confused here. You don't know what to do in a situation. What is the Six of Cups for Aries? All right, hold on. We got a bunch of stuff that popped out here. So we have the Knight. I'm sorry, the King of Swords. And then you have the Nine of Wands. And then you have the Chariot card. Okay, so yeah. There's someone from your past that is resurfacing. Or maybe someone from the recent past. Um, someone you have history with. Someone from your childhood. Something like that, okay. Um, that you have cut off cold, but you're still thinking about the situation. You're very defensive against this person. Um... 
and you have already or you're wanting to move away or move forward from this two of swords at the bottom of the deck not making a decision um not knowing what decision to make there's something that you want to leave behind here maybe you're leaving someone okay in the month of april what is this knight of swords Ooh, three of swords, the lovers, and the knight of cups. Oh, okay, so I'm okay. A couple of different things. Some of you guys are really determined to move on and find someone that's meant for you. Some of you guys are moving on from heartbreak from the past or from one person and heading towards a Gemini or Aries. Um, Aries keeps coming out today. I've made like four or five videos for different signs today and i mean to say a different sign and aries just keeps popping up so oh we are this is aries season so maybe that's what it is okay um yeah i'm losing my train of thought here somebody's really somebody really wants to be loved here i feel like they're trying to force love in a situation all right, someone needs to, um, someone kind of needs to just chill out, maybe heal from the past, take things slow if you are dating someone. Someone's trying to force a love offer. We have the Knight of Cups out here twice, okay? Or someone is trying to force themselves on someone else or force someone else to kind of really pursue them. Um, also with this Knight of Swords, I'm getting, yeah, someone's not giving themselves the, um, the, the, the time to heal here it's kind of like you get heartbroken and then you go and you involve yourself when, with whomever you know kind of to make yourself feel better you get caught up in these situationships aries that's what i'm getting like it's not stable it's all lustful energy with the lovers um and then you try to turn it into something something romantic something stable um with the ace of wands yeah but it's built off of passion it's built off of lust and sex here um kind of like instant gratification yeah you're going about your love life um i feel like not in the right way best for you um what is this knight of cups because now we have the knight of cups twice what is this knight of cups for aries eight of wands five of pentacles and the emperor Maybe you're finding out something or you're getting some sort of communication that's going to make you not the happiest, okay, about someone you are dating or wanted to date or used to date. You feel like someone is looking elsewhere. What else do we have? Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. So for some of you guys, some sort of um, offer could be coming in in regards to money, finances, or a job. Yeah, because I feel like, yeah, with the Five of Pentacles turning into the Ace of Cups, this is just related to money. I feel like something is going to make you very happy, maybe a bonus or something. That's just a side message. Um, but you've cut off, yeah, I feel like you've cut, that's Aries too. It's crazy. I feel like this is an Aries dealing with the Aries. Um Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are choosing to work it out with the water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I feel like you need to um, you need to kind of just focus on yourself here with the Seven of Wands, Aries. Okay, I feel like you need to get your energy in check. You need to get your chakras aligned. Um, you really need to kind of focus on yourself here and start in, stop involving yourself in a lot of... Um, situationships and a lot of just um people or situations that's not good for you that's not going anywhere okay i feel like you need to love on yourself a lot more we have balanced spirituality and practicality yeah like you need to be more in tune with yourself 
you are good enough for moon in virgo you need to love on yourself here okay you need to appreciate yourself it's a lot of self-focus going on conclusions are within reach okay and then at the bottom of the deck your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn so maybe for some of you guys this is recent past present or future energy so um with the conclusions are within reach maybe some of you guys have already been working on this um I don't know. I just feel like you're close to finding something, finding yourself, finding out some information. But there is a need for you to know that you are good enough. There is a need for you to heavily love on yourself here and stop trying to give that love to other people and outside sources, okay? Um, hopefully this helps you out, Aries. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.